Just a quick update to all my stats. I'm now an 87 overall. I've been spending a lot of time in the park uh, with a few mates. I've upgraded a lot of things. Uh, now I don't have any upgrades available. Um, I am an 87 now, which is great. I've got a 94 speed, 92 acceleration, and 93 stamina, uh, which is very good. And our steel is maxed out at the moment at an 88. Our three, obviously, 52 is not that good. 67 mid-range, and our driving dunk is a 95. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. And coming up for you shortly, it is the Los Angeles Lakers in action against the Memphis Grizzlies. Looking at the Grizzlies, they want to turn it around after the loss to Brooklyn. That game was high scoring. Tonight, they'll need to be better defensively. Kenny, chance to watch Che, mm -hmm. a guy known for not playing in a game once, sat out in protest at Bay City University. Well, you know what? Che... That was a tough decision. I mean, here's this guy standing up for his teammates. At the end of the day, though, the rest of the team is what matters. These things will take you to another level as a teammate, and people will follow you. Way to go, Che. Yeah, Che felt uh, this was right at the time. Some things are bigger than the game. Fellas, this may not have been one of them, but shout out to Che for standing by his convictions. And with the game just about ready to begin, time to send it to Kevin Harlan for the call. Alrighty guys, let's get straight into it. Game four. Uh, we're coming to this two and one uh, compared to the Grizzlies who are one and two. Uh, with the recently added, uh, was it Jonas Valanciunas uh, from the Toronto Raptors? He signed last season. So they're going to be probably playing around him a bit. So Anthony Davis got a huge role. As we said there, Anthony Davis averaging nine points, nine rebounds, and 1.3 assists on 37% shooting. So not the greatest start to the season for Anthony Davis. Uh, we are on 12 minute quarter, so it's a full game, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of court time. I think we did pretty well in our last game. I can't remember exactly our stat line, uh, but this is our upcoming schedule. Uh, Maverick, Spurs, Bulls, and Heat, and uh, we'll jump straight into this game. Hey, there we go. Get the assist in there to Anthony Davis. That's our second assist, actually. We played pretty bad uh, this opening game, opening start of the game. We're down by three. It uh, doesn't look that bad, but I think we're two of seven as a team from the field. And I've been blocked like three times, so we're not doing too too well as that make that heavily contested layup. I have turned the difficulty up quite a bit. I turned it up to, I think, Superstar from memory. Um, it was on Pro, so I, I decided to turn it up a little bit just until we get, uh, get a bit better as we get in another assist potentially to Anthony Davis. No, he gets fouled. That's Jonas Valanciunas' second foul, so hopefully he'll be taken off. Oh, here we go. Wide open fast break, and one. Getting the points, getting the uh, getting the foul, and getting the points to go. So we'll get the uh, get the free throw here. Hopefully that was a bad release. Uh, so we do get the two points, uh, but we're playing pretty shocking in this first opening minutes. Hey, there we go, getting inside, getting the green light to go. We aren't scoring that successfully at the moment. It is the second quarter. We are up by three, and I do have the six assists, but we're only shooting 25% from the field. Uh, so four points, but we do have six assists, which kind of evens it out a little bit. Uh, but we're shooting like what, like one, like two for 10, so we're not doing uh, good at all. As we get the illegal screen call there, which is good on Jaron Jackson. Uh, but yeah, we're doing all right. We're still got the lead, which is always important, uh, but holding on to it, which is the main thing. Hey, here we go. Upstairs. Oh, my goodness. We just slammed it all over Jaron Jackson Jr. That was a good animation. That was like the Jordan animation midair. This was mental. He just stood underneath. We got the foul call as well. Holy dooly, that was good. Rightio, now it's time to make the free throw. We're going to time this properly. That's a little bit early, but we do make it seven points. That's now hopefully that kind of snowballs into more of a uh, more of a head start here. So it turns out, guys, uh, during this game, like in this is still the second quarter, but uh, Valentinus has gone off with an injury, left elbow tendonitis. Uh, I don't know how long if he's obviously he'll be out for the rest of the game. I don't know how long he'll be out for, uh, but this is kind of big for us. You know, as you can see, the highlights they're getting blocked. Uh, but yeah, obviously we haven't really been playing that well, but Valentinus was a big part of this team and now he's injured so hopefully this is a good sign for us and um, we can move forward and uh, keep scoring not having to have this perimeter th sorry this interior threat uh, underneath when we're driving inside uh, here we go getting the fast break to oh no they're a little bit contested oh 
Oh my goodness, we just did, what was that? Let's just take another look at this, throwing it up. Oh, that's that kill, uh, kill Ganon animation. That is phenomenal, chucking it up behind our back. Wow, that is amazing. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the last few games you have been on fire and it's carried over to tonight. What's gotten into you these last few games? Hey, GA, I think I've just gotten to a nice groove with the rest of the guys, man. And like right now, it's like we're reading, you know, each other's minds. That's resulting in a lot of easy chances for me. And I'm just enjoying the rides with my teammates, man. Looks like group ESP to me. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Oh, okay. Chucking it back door to Anthony Davis. I just slotted it off to LeBron. He just throws it right up. That was good. Hey, here we go. Got the steal. Throw it down. Oh, that was a simple one-handed. That was all right, though. That was all right. I think that's the, uh, that was the Westbrook. Uh, so I don't think that was a basic one. I think that was a part of the Westbrook package. Uh, but still, I'm hoping for more, uh, more dunks like that one we had before. Hey, there we go. Don't bother jumping. Is that Jaron Jackson Jr. again? He'll have flashbacks to our, uh, our last dunk there. But going baseline, we are now up by just under 40 points. 36 points are up by, uh, which is incredible at this point. We, we were doing pretty bad in the first quarter, but we've just blown them out of the park at the moment. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's the same package. That is mental. Holy dude, have a look at this again. This was mental. Was the, I thought it was going to be the same animation, but we've just gone backwards. Oh, that's mental. That was like that dunk over Shaq that time. All right, I'll go back and have a look. Yo, this was mental. Chucking it up, cocking it right back, and going behind our head. That is mental. Hey, back door. Oh, there we go again. Got another animation over Anderson that time. That was good. You can see the gold contact finisher. It's uh, definitely becoming handy. Now we've got our takeover. Alrighty, here we go. Got our takeover. Taking off. Oh, we don't take off. No, we get a green light and we get the N1. This is way too easy at the moment. I will turn the difficulty up as uh, after this game. But uh, at the moment, 25 points, possibly 20, 26 points now. 8 assists, 80% from the free throw line. Not too bad at all. Oh, here we go. Reverse dunk this time. Going baseline. And we get an achievement as well. Oh, there we go. A little Euro step into a dunk this time. That was pretty bad. And that achievement we got before was for a 20-0 scoring run. So we're going absolutely mental on the Grizzlies at the moment. Uh-oh, here we go, another steal, throw it down, yeah, there we go, cocking it a little bit back then, wasn't too bad, unfortunately, I can't get the LeBron package, uh, the LeBron dunk package, because my standing dunk isn't 70, uh, which is a bit disappointing, but um, I'll put up with it, I'll, uh, I'll keep, you know, getting these uh, cool dunk packages, uh, but we will turn the difficulty up, definitely, next uh, next episode, because it's uh, this is ridiculous at the moment, going to... Going for a, as he makes that ridiculous lab, as it, we're going up by like 50, 60 points a game, which is just ridiculous. Alright guys, fortunately enough, we uh, we do get subbed out for the whole fourth quarter, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, we didn't have to play, and we do end up winning by 72 points, uh, which is mental. We nearly doubled their score, and uh, yeah, just an amazing game by us. We'll go into the cutscenes, but then we'll check out the stats after the game. I'm really interested to see how we played, and obviously Jonas Valanciunas being out is a a huge like impact on them they, they had to have Jaron Jackson jr. at their center position uh, it just wasn't working for them as we check out our uh, attributes at the moment we do have an attribute upgrade which is good finishing badge is going up by a little bit shooting badge didn't do that much shooting so it only goes up by a tiny bit uh, playmaking is nearly there defensive rebounding is going up as well so our total is now going to be one uh, 1488 and we get Nike incentives which is good uh, team takeover is in Enabled because we do have a 98 or I think it's higher than 75 uh, you have to have a higher than 75 takeover so we we'll go check out if there's any cutscenes any endorsement stuff like that and then we'll get into the stats Kevin thanks well best of both worlds for you tonight Shay your team got the win and you had that incredible third quarter performance what got you so hot coming out of the break hey you know what shouts out to coach man he showed us some some things on film that we could take advantage of you know we were just able to come out and make necessary adjustments. I mean, we made the plays, but Coach and the rest of the crew showed us the blueprints, you know? 
And you guys listened to that advice and got it done in the second half. Thank you. Guys? Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, do, Coach. Have you said to yourself at the beginning of that game? Yeah. Mm. Che, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? You did a lot of distributing tonight, leading the team in assists for your first time as a pro. How were you able to generate so many open looks? I mean, I don't know if I did anything special. I just kept the ball moving. I found the open man, passed it to him, and he hit the shots. So, shout out to my teammates for hitting open shots. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Shay. All right, guys. Thanks. All good, Ted. Good seeing you, brother. Nice game, Che. Thanks, B. Che, can I grab you real quick? Patty, the great reporter. What's up? <laughs> I got Che. You set a new career high for points scored tonight. What does that say about your growth as a player? It's just one game, so I want to read into it too much. But everything's starting to slow down for me a little bit. Just a little bit more comfortable with everything we're doing. And it helps me play with more confidence. Shout out to my first grade teacher, Chris. Good stuff. Thanks for your time, Che. It's all good. <laughs> hey, you guys good over here? I saw a little yes. something going on. Uh, yes. Definitely. Alrighty guys, uh, we do have some points available to upgrade, so I've done two onto my ball handling, two onto interior defense, and two onto my perimeter defense, so just kind of upgrading the defense, obviously all of my shooting except for the post hook is maxed out at the moment, so I'm just working on getting these up a little bit, and now makes us an 88 overall, uh, we'll go jump into the stats real quick, unless there's another cutscene, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, obviously I think we're getting a lot more interviews, which is good, and we're getting our teammate grade to go up as well, so that's always good. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, it's a bit weird having these early games and knowing the reporters off by heart. I think that's kind of a, they didn't expect, uh, you know, the people that play on easier difficulties to be able to uh, play such good games. But uh, obviously we led the team in uh, team assists, uh, but we'll go check it out after these next cutscenes. Turns out there's no cutscenes. Uh, we get 38 points with Anthony Davis getting 37 as well. So it's combined for 75 points and they had 79 combined as a team. So Anthony Davis and I played amazing. Anthony Davis got obviously 13 boards as well. Nine assists, six steals, one block. We did, we shot all right. I mean, it wasn't great. Uh, what is that? I can't work that out in my head. It's like 66%, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's not 66. I can't work it out. Uh, yes, yeah, so Anthony Davis led us for uh, rebounds. I obviously led us for steals and assists. Points I led for as well. Anthony, uh, D Dwight Howard, I should say, played quite well as well. Did anyone not play that good? Caldwell Pope kind of didn't play that well, but I mean, everyone kind of played very good. Uh, now we see here, Valentino has only played the four minutes and he is now injured, it doesn't say there, but he is injured. So you can see, actually a good, a good little notice here, Valentino is the only person on this Memphis roster with a positive plus minus. That means that he, when he was on the court, they scored more points than they lost points, if you understand what I mean. So like, they, they, like, they scored more than they conceded. So compared to everyone else on the court, like you look at Ja Morant, he has a negative 47 so that isn't good so it shows that when Valentinus is on the floor even though it was only for four minutes he is a very dominant force so guys thank you all for watching I actually just noticed 52 points in the third quarter is mental uh, but yeah thank you all for watching uh, go follow me on Twitter if you haven't already uh, and I appreciate any any comments any likes anything you guys can uh, can show me that you appreciate what I'm doing um, I don't really you know ask for too much I just kind of like I love the comments if you guys leave comments in that uh, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace